My name is Mark Alexander Favreau from uh, Vaughn Chapter. I'm a GOL coordinator. And this is my wife, Christine Favreau. Hi, this is it or Christine Favreau. We are excited to give you our, to introduce to you our uh, worship leader. But before that, brothers and sisters, let us remind everyone to register for the Ancop virtual mob. The deadline to register will be on Tuesday, June 30th. And then it starts on July 1st and ends on August 22nd. And everyone knows that our goal in the CMT Canada is $1.2 million and one billion step. Have fun on the site. But who knows the wall in chapter heads? We have learned that everyone registered to all in chapter heads have been registered at 100%. Great job, new brothers. Push for more. We all are and everyone all registered as well. So register sisters, one more reminder, maybe you have already seen our conference sure. for this year. Uh, hold the holy We need to get hold of your local updates to get hold of those insurance. This is a first time for our basis. And to know more information, you can find those details how to contact them on the case handle. Okay, so we're out of the point. Would you like First, let's welcome our opening worship leader. From Vancouver, our KFC International Missions Coordinator for the America. Brother Paulo San Diego. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to answer the reflection the question for today's session four uh, session. So I would say that. Uh, what is the reflection question? How do I become a better career of soul? Uh, for career, career, career soul of a household head, um, I, I say I live one day at a time. Uh, I'm not the head of my household. My household. Um, I think I can answer better the second question. Uh, I do. I do not accept that I'm a modern day saint in my neighborhood, in my workplace. Uh, I know I'm a, I'm a sinner every day, but um, I try my best to be as good person as I am. Like you know, to be a modern day saint is you have to do a lot to be a modern day saint. Uh, in my neighborhood, in my workplace. Uh, um, I feel that's a very tough question to answer because um, to ask somebody if you're your child to be modern day saints is a, a very tall order to ask and uh, I say I, I do not accept the child of a modern day saint because I know I'm not going to be a saint so I don't, I don't, I'm just going to be truthful about this. Okay, so with me, how can I become a better carer of the soul as a household head? Um, care of the soul doesn't mean that you have to care for the soul, but instead you have to help them to to grow as a better person or as a better leader to their members. And in that question, you have to make them as a good example, bring them back to the all the chapter, all the uh, all the chapter assembly, and help them to become a better person by helping them spiritually, asking them what do they need to improve and do they need any help from you so I think that's the best explanation for care of the soul uh, we are not household head already but that's what I'm thinking the best answer for that question and about the culture today as a modern day saint I will say yeah same I agree with my husband I'm not a modern day saint today but God's will um, we don't know right for what's happening in the future we've become a modern day saint 
modern day safe meaning is not really a safe in today, but modern day means um being helping to the other people, like being so like Mother Teresa, helping the poorest of the poor. And that's the meaning of that for me as a modern day saint. Not the saint that you have to um like the church relics like that. The modern day is how to help the people on their difficult times. And with that, maybe we can share some of our resources to other people, like our food to those who is in need, or maybe we can share our resources to helping the people back home. Like right now it's a pandemic, so we need to send money to them if they need it. Like my family, I send money because I know that they need it most. I have to help my family before other people's concerned. So it doesn't mean that if I don't need to help other people, but I have to focus on my family first. And other people, I can say that they can get uh, others help from their government and from not like my family, which I don't know if they're giving it. And also, on the workplace, is the same thing uh, as my workplace. Is I have to help those who, who knows my abilities, like my knowledge in whatever I know uh, as a computer or in a, in a program. So that's the thing I can help with them. Uh, or if I know that somebody is not that good in that specific field or they are busy on their job, I have to work them and I have to help them. And that's how I can help on my workplace. And as a neighborhood, um, we can go along the neighborhood who needs help there, like um, visiting them and letting them know that, that we are here for them, in spite of this pandemic, but with a social distance as well. So we can bring food to them, whatever we bake or whatever we cook, we can share with them, especially those who, who doesn't have any food at all or they are still waiting for to go back to work. And also, if you have more extra mass alcohol, we can share with them as well. So with that, and because if you do that, all of those is you will become more, more and more um, like a saint that you are helping other people as well. Like, and not because you don't have anything, but you know what you you can feel what they feel, right? If you can put yourself in them, you know what they what they are feeling. So that's how we can I can answer on that question. And I think um, that's it for now. Okay, um, about session four, uh, the speakers were good, the introduction were good, it was an improvement from last week because last week when they introduced the, the sh they didn't introduce well the sharers, they were not well identified compared to this week, so I think they, the technical crew caught on from last week's mistakes, and with the songs and the praise, they were pretty dead on. And uh, I think this week is a uh, better show. Uh, technically, it was better than last week, but still, viewership are down from 700 to over 600. People are now watching. I think uh, over since it started, every week the viewership kept going down. Um, probably loss of interest of the topics, or maybe it's not the topics. It's the way the, the, the conference is set up, that people just didn't bother to log in. So, yes, yeah, so, so I notice the viewership keep going down every week. So that's something to concern. Um, yeah, I will say about the speaker is um, I feel like it's like a little boring to be honest. Sorry about that, but um it feels like a little sleepy and the topic is really deep already about the setting the words on fire is so deep and i hope um we will gonna be manage it like a lively way of it and not like reading reading session mm -hmm. so the powerpoint they're good and they give a lot of information to that powerpoint but overall the way he speaks is not making like a joke so it's in this hour of time is that people like to sleep but if, if the speaker next time on the next conference like a vibrant probably they're gonna be more active of going back to the next session and also staying on the last last hours like um, after they they are waiting for whatever he can say whatever he can he can share but the speaker are good and they put some <laughs> name on there I see the cursive letter and the about the 
uh, MCs, they were good, they're improving um, weekly by weekly, and they gave an example, but I did not see their name that is written there, so, uh, the introduction. And also there's some um, on the song, there's some technical problem there, they did not um, press next to the next song, so we are difficulty of um, following it, especially to the new one, I can say, And but if you're used to the song, you don't have any problem, but um, all of us is not a new it's, a, it's not an old member, or if you are even the old member cannot follow, they don't know the song because some songs are new ones. And with that, um, hopefully in the next conference next year, it's not going to be um, virtual, and hopefully the uh, pandemic will be end soon. And we are praying and hoping that the uh, next conference will be in, in real, so we can go on the venue itself and we can talk to the real listener a real real leader and with a like a normal conference that is kind of new normal new normal as in you can talk or watch only in the tv where you don't know it's so boring so for some other people especially now it's summer they love to go outside instead of watching tv for three hours i cannot win them so they want to go to the park or having some beaches and they're enjoying with their family so that's why the conference is like 616 watching right now so hopefully next year it's become more vibrant more challenging more the speaker will become more um they will gonna involve the the members or I mean the audience they have to ask lots of questions like more jokes or something like um make them make them um the audience will become involved or ask them questions, the exercise, the <laughs> so that's all I can say, but overall, it's a good topic, it's just a deep topic actually, but it's a good one, and the reflection question is a little bit deep also, it's hard to understand, and there are some words there that, you know, it's very, very um, difficult to answer, like a modern day saying, and a pair of soul, what are those two? If you don't know what they are those, so you just have to say, next please, okay? So I think that's all we can share for now and happy 39th anniversary too. Happy, happy 39th anniversary, anniversary CFC and wish you a good luck next year's conference. See you on the next year's conference guys. Brother subscribe or follow us Kit Fabru. That's my email address or you can search it on the Facebook and in the YouTube. Okay, see you next time and have a wonderful day and stay safe everybody and God bless. Always. Okay. Thank you. Bye. God is good all the time and all the time. Yeah.